Have you ever gone online and done a search trying to find out how to better prepare your bees for winter? I mean, it's kind of a broad topic. What does that mean? Like feed, uh, equipment, nutrients? Well, the search when it comes to the grand scope of beekeeping is kind of limited in the results. The most you're gonna find is something like a candy board, fondant patties, quilting boxes maybe, maybe a Vivaldi board, but there's really not much past that when it comes to preparing your colonies for winter. Now we do have like those fancy hives coming out that are naturally more insulated, uh, but what do we do when we run traditional woodenware? Well, I came out with uh, my own new piece of beekeeping equipment specifically designed to mimic as best as I can the natural environment of a hollow cavity in a tree, but on my bee boxes. Why is that important? Because in those hollow tree cavities where bees naturally live, you've got higher CO2 levels, which is better for the bees. I'll explain why later. It's detrimental to mites. Didn't know that. I'll explain that too. But my bees are gonna consume less honey and get through winter resting instead of going through winter in survival mode. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around and I'll show you what I got in the back of my Jeep right here. And we're gonna put it on my colony today. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hive Doctor. Let's go ahead and check out what I brought to the bee yard today. I just built this and I'm looking forward to using it. So this is a true one inch lumber box with a drip edge type of cover and it's hollow inside. Let's go ahead and put this on a hive. Okay. Now, fortunately, I don't have to light a smoker because right underneath the hive cover here is a quilting box the bees don't even have access to. I'm gonna set my hive cover to the side and we're gonna put this bad boy on. I'm standing on the downhill side, so this is challenging. This kind of reminds me of a Warre style beehive. So let's talk about what this is. This is a system. Systems help beekeepers work more efficiently by doing less. This simple piece of equipment, and I say simple, it is bulky. There's a lot of lumber involved in this thing, but its functions far outweigh the bulkiness, the heaviness, and you know what, it's not even as heavy as I thought it would be. But the system that this accomplishes is, it eliminates top ventilation. Ventilation during the winter time puts colonies in survival mode. It means they can never get truly into a restful state. By not having ventilation, the bees metabolic processes that naturally occur create a higher CO2 content inside. And that puts the honeybees into a sort of a narcosis, a state of sedation where their metabolic rate goes down and they don't need to consume as much honey. Now they're in a state of rest. The varroa mite, however, they're smaller, they have a smaller bo body mass, they're more sensitive to the higher CO2 content, and it causes partial to full paralysis and possibly even death. I didn't know this, but it's like a way to be able to fight varroa during the winter when you can't use any active treatments. Plus, this part replaces using my conventional hive covers and acts as a thicker, more solid insulator on top. Now ideally, that quilting box you saw on top, I, I want to get some of that pink foam board with a higher R value and put a sheet of that inside of the quilting box. And then maybe the cedar chips on top of that or underneath, I don't know, either way, that would create an even more solid situation going on here. But I'm only keeping one lower hive entrance open, just like they do in a tree. They can control the ventilation on their own. I do run screen bottom boards, and it is winter right now, so I've got these uh, inserts on the bottom. 
right here. And there's a bunch of dead beetle on that. Oh, check that out. Here's all the beetles that are dying. So that's always good. I'm gonna flip that over, slide it back in. And you see how much room this takes up. This is covering quite a bit. So I've got an inch here, a little bit of wiggle room between this and the box, and then three quarter inches of actual hive material. These bees are gonna to be toasty warm. I'm not gonna have any ventilation leaking out through the top of this thing. Plus, I don't have to worry about putting a rock or a brick on it. This thing isn't blowing away. It's not going to topple over. And it's a way that I can you know, just build one of these at a time. The top's gonna need painted to kind of help keep moisture out when it rains because this took two boards to build. I did cut it at an angle, but this seal here would be good to wood glue with exterior wood glue, maybe even caulk, I don't know, whatever, but definitely to get this covered with a nice paint so I don't have to worry about leaking during rain. Come here, Riker, I'll get you. This is Riker. He didn't want to stay in the Jeep. And he wanted to tell you about this, but he can't talk because he's a puppy. So here, you sit right there. There you go. And as you can tell, it is sturdy for puppies to sit on. It can hold his extreme weight of about 14 pounds. <laughs> now, when I put this together, it's a true one inch material, one by 12, not three quarter inch. And I nailed it together just so I could it's the prototype. I wanted to see it's, I wanted to see it function. Uh, but ideally something like this would be screwed together. And of course it's got to be made in the right dimensions so it slides over everything else on top with a little bit of clearance. Now I'm going to keep this one on. I'll find me some paint, slap it on the top of this thing. But this rough sawn lumber is perfect. I like the natural look of it. It's going to make a big difference in their winter survival because of the reasons I told you. And I've even done videos on that. I'll link them in right here so that you can check those out. It would behoove you to learn more about natural wintering that bees do in the cavities of trees so that you could better mimic it yourself with those higher CO2 levels. That is so important for honeybee survival, winter feed consumption being lowered, and varroa mite mortality going up, meaning they're more mortal. Uh, they die more. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, this is actually a way to fight against mites. And why wouldn't you want to do that? Especially in wintertime. So with no ventilation, thicker top and even side uh, insulation, I feel more comfortable. I feel better. I don't have the winter worries for my colonies like I used to. Man, ever since I've been in Georgia, since 2017 with bees, I've been ventilating the top of my hives year round, even in the winter time. And I didn't know I was putting them into a survival mode, causing them to not only not get that rest they need as winter bees, but making them consume more honey as a result of that. What I would love to see is someone do a study on how much winter feed each climate needs to get through winter based on this condensed hive system. Because right now, the only numbers that we have are based on a, a ventilated colony and regular beekeeping equipment. This is not something practical for commercial beekeepers, but us backyard, small scale, sideline beekeepers, this is excellent. Because you, you could build one of these at a time, get it on your hive, leave it there, and I have to worry. And you know what? When it comes to uh, the warm months, I'm going to keep this on as well because bees live in trees in the warm months too. They are e extremely efficient at controlling the environment inside of their colony. And plus, pff, this is Riker approved. I mean, look at the guy. He's totally relaxed. In addition to checking out those other videos to inform yourself and educate yourself in better beekeeping, check out my latest book, The Varroa Playbook which demystifies varroa mite control methods. And that's in the link below, whether you want a physical copy for yourself to thumb through or an ebook to look at on your tablet. I've got both for you. So until the next video, I'll see you then. Hive Doctor and Riker out.